get jazzy. We're the Salvia Brothers, and we're going to show you a slice of our rule. So let's go on and take the shoes off first. And the trumpets stay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we, back in the day, me and this guy was uh, family entertainment every year. We used to have our dance battles. And then I used to make us dance, you know, for the summer songs and all that. <laughs> Honestly, you know, for me and this guy have a battle and we'll like, end up out, outside or someone crying. I think I was the best. <laughs> Since day one, we love rugby. When Julian was playing in the juniors with Adi, he had to play like three grades up because of his weight oh and his oh. height. I've always found like the biggest person on the field, and I'd tell you know anyone I want to smash him. It was always my challenge, or you know I want to do something, score a try. Parents complain and moan because he was too heavy. He truly was taking their boys out. <laughs> So I had to carry his birth certificate with me every Saturday because nobody believed how old he was. Then when Adi came along, even though Adi was about three years younger than Julian, he always wanted to play with Jules. You know, I used to cry when games got cancelled when I was little. Adi would be always put the uniform on on Friday night and go to sleep with it. When it's raining in the morning, all the games cancel. But they want us to go get the bus and go to the, the field to check if it's still cancelled. <laughs> It's a little bit of a, you know, likes to jump over the, out of the window. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry? Can you not tell me? I think he likes to get along with people. Julian's very quiet, but then again, when he, Julian's out, I hear that he gets into little dancing and doing his little the pops and my I get my fault this far. <laughs> Back in the day, our family didn't own a car until we were like 17. Oh, just pretty much when I got my first contract, I yeah. <laughs> bought a car. Now, like, you know, we've got the opportunity to play for them and help them out financially, and that's why I play, I guess. I think that my most concern was because Julian's asthmatic, you know, sometimes when he's on the field, he might be going puff and puff, you know, need his inhaler. But no, he's doing really well. No. <laughs> Is that right, Julian? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, know, I, I know when, when I watch it, when he went like this on the field, he needs his inhaler. Oh, he's just tired. <laughs> Growing up, everyone just knew me as Julian's little brother. You know, when you're young, you know, oh, I don't want to be known as I just put my own name down there. <laughs> but you know, now, you know, I'm proud of that. See to each other, oh, you wait, I'm mean, better than you, better than that. Um, but I just always knew that you got to get there. And uh, it's actually quite cool that he's on the team. And for me, um, like my mum said, I was, I was quiet a lot. And now I'm starting to open up and speak a lot more. And I think you can see that. And I just want to become a good, good role model, really. And honestly, you'll, you'll see something special this year with the Hurricanes. I'm very excited. Can you promise? I promise. Biggie promise? Good job, Biggie.